Hello and welcome. This time we are going to discuss a very special, very interesting problem in probability. Many of students are demanding some shortcuts for this kind of problem. Let us discuss and the problem is three cubical dice are tossed simultaneously. Take three cubical dice and toss them simultaneously. And we are interested in this lecture. We are interested in all possible totals of the numbers on upper face. On the upper face of the all the three dice. Whatever number comes, we are interested in their totals. Minimum total will be three. One on first die, one on second die and one on third die. The total comes to Three. Similarly, the maximum possible total is 18. 6 on first die, 6 on second and 6 on third. So, total will be 18. Minimum total 3, maximum possible total 18. That means, logically, the all other totals will be between 3 and 18. These are all possible totals. Now, we are interested in studying frequency of all these possible totals. In this experiment, the possible totals are mutually exclusive and exhaustive. Possible outcomes. So, let us first write the totals. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 will be the landmark. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and the highest possible total is 18. All these are possible outcomes. Yes, 1, 1, 1 that is a minimum possible and 6, 6, 6 that is maximum possible. If you want to count the possible number of cases or total number of possible outcomes that will be number of sides on one die rest 2 in power number of dice. Number of sides in a die are 6, there are 3 dice, so 6 cube, that is 216 possible combinations are possible. There are 216. But the summation will be either of these 12, sorry 16. Now, what are these 216 possible outcomes? Even I cannot write all of them on this board. But there is a pattern. You can keep one on the first die. 1 on the 2nd and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 on 3rd. This is the set of first 6. Second set of 6 outcomes will be keep 1 on 1st die, keep 2 on 2nd die and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 on 3rd and so on. There will be 36 these type of columns. The minimum total in 1st column will be 3 and maximum will be 1 plus 1 plus 6 so 8. The minimum total will increase by 1 in each and every column and maximum total will also increase by 1 in each and every column and ultimately we reach highest possible total 80. Okay, that's all. So if you are interested, you can write that type of or you can do that type of working. This is the rough work which I had done before deciding to present this solution. Now, what exactly happens? I am going to suggest you a pattern of frequency so that even if you forget at the time of your examination, you can write all the frequencies in your own in a minute or less time if you learn the pattern which I am going to present carefully. Okay, the first will be one because Total 3 is possible in only one way, 1, 1, 1, 1 on all the 3 dice. But 2 is, sorry, rather, total 4 is possible in 2 plus 1 ways. If you prepare that column with 30, uh, table with 36 columns, you can realize all these things. But now you trust me and just try to understand and learn this pattern. 5 will be possible in 3 plus 2 plus 1 ways. 6 will be possible in 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 ways. 
7 will be possible in 5 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 ways. 8 will be possible in 6 plus 5 plus 4 plus 3. I am sorry. There is a mistake in writing. 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1. I am sorry. 6 plus 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1. 8. 8 is the first remarkable case. All the 6 are now this summation be, will be at the most of 6 numbers. Now what? Now 1 will be dropped and the first will be now 5. 5 plus 6 plus 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 and 10 will be possible in 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 5 plus 4 plus 3. Now 10 is the landmark case. Mind well. 11, the same pattern is going to be followed. 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 5 plus 4. 12, 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 5. 13 will be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6. Now what? Now there will not be summation of 6 numbers. But one value will be dropped in each step. Now what? 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. In 15, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. In 16, 1 plus 2 plus 3. In 17, 1 plus 2. In 18, only 1. Why 10 is? I told that 10 is the remarkable. 10 is exactly halfway. Carefully watch the pattern. From 1 to 6. Then the last number is dropped and immediate lower number is added at the first stage. See the pattern. 4, 3, 5, 6, 5, 4, 3. And this is exactly reverse. 4, 5, 3, 5, 3. Sorry, 4, 3. Both are reverse. And now all the pattern you can compare. This is the reverse of this. This one is reverse of this. This one is reverse of this and so on. So this is something like a complicated mirror image. But if you keep the pattern in your mind, you can write the frequencies at any time within a moment. Now frequency means just nothing, summation of all these. So let us write frequencies. It will be 1, 2 plus 1, 3. 3 plus 2 plus 1, 6. 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1. Or you can just write the first, uh, sorry, add the first value to the previous total. 6 plus 4, it will be now 10. 4 plus 3, 7 plus 3, 10. 10 plus 5, 15. 15 plus 6, 21. 21 plus 5, 21 plus 5, 26, minus 1. So now the total will be 25. Now be careful from this stage. And now 25 minus 2, 23, 23 plus 4, 27. This is the highest possible total. Now we know that this is nothing but the reverse of this. So the total will be again 27. Similarly, this is reverse of this. Frequency of 12 is actually, sorry, pattern of frequency of 12 is reverse of pattern of frequency of 9. So it will be 25. Similarly, pattern of frequency of 13 is similar to or rather reverse of the pattern of 8. So it will be 21. 
Similarly, it will be 15, it will be 10, it will be 6, it will be 3, and it will be 1. And as we know that summation of the frequency is always equivalent to capital N or total number of repetitions that is 216. I leave it to you to verify the total. So this is I think easiest way to present all possible totals, their frequencies and now probability. As we are aware that probability is nothing, all the individual frequencies are taken as favorable number of cases and all are divided by total number of favorable outcomes divided by total number of outcomes, the classical approach of calculating probability. So probability of all these numbers or all these possible totals, first will be 1 by 216, second will be 3 by 216, third will be 6 by 216, probability of 6 will be 10 by 216, I am not going to simplify all this, but I will give two or three examples of various other types of calculations of probabilities. Probability of 7 will be 15 by 216, probability of 8, 21 by 216, probability of 9, 25 by 216, Probability of 10, 27 by 216. Probability of 11, 27 by 216. This is 27. Probability of 12, 25 by 216. Probability of 13, 21 by 216. Probability of 14, 15 by 216. Probability of 15, 10 by 216. Probability of 16, 6 by 216. Probability of 17, 3 by 216. And probability of 18, 1 by 216. Sigma P of X comes to 216 by 216, that is 1. Summation of probabilities of all possible mutually exclusive and exhaustive outcomes is always 1. Now let us take some representative case. Let's see if we take total as P of X, sorry, and frequency as F of X, probability as P of X. Okay, now we are interested in probability of getting total of at least 6. That is probability X greater than or equal to, sorry, not at least, first let us take at the most, at the most, 6, that is P of X, 6 or less, that is nothing, P of 6 plus P of 5 plus P of 4 plus P of 3, what is P of 6, it is 10 by 216, P of 5, 6 by 216, P of 4, 3 by 216, and P of 3, 1 by 216. 10 plus 6, 16 plus 4, 20. So it is 20 by 216. So probability of at the most 6 or x taking value 6 or less comes to 20 by 16, that is 10 by 108, that is 5 by 54. Let us take, say total comes between 9 and 12, 9 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 12, so it will be p of 9 plus p of 10 plus p of 11 plus p of 12, p of 9 is 25 by 216, p of 10 is 27 by 216, P of 11 is 27 by 216 and P of 12 is 25 by 216. 27 into plus 27, 54 and 25 plus 25, 50. So it comes to 104 divided by 216. So probability of total between 9 and 
12 comes to both can be divided by 4 26 by 54 and let us take at least probability of total of at least say 14 that means x takes value 14 or more that will be nothing p of 14 plus p of 15 plus p of 16 plus p of 17 plus p of 18 nothing but summation of probabilities of the totals from 14 to 18 probability of 14 comes to 15 by 216 probability of 15 is 10 by 216 probability of 16 is 6 by 216 probability of 17 is 3 by 216 and probability of 18 is 1 by 216 so total comes to 15 plus 20, 25 plus 6 31 plus 4 35 35 by 216 this is probability of total of at least 14 in this way if you have the pattern of this frequency distribution in mind another option with you is just try to remember all these the series because you have to actually remember the half series 3 1 3 6 10 15 21 25 27 another half is reverse now it is upon you how to remember whether the frequency or the pattern or anything but you can calculate the probability within moments that's it. Thank you.